Hey YouTube, Joe here with another knife review and today I bring you the ZT056 uh, clone. And now, if you uh, know my videos, I did a uh, preview on this but I did a little experiment in that preview and I uh, I did a preview of making a video of basically just pictures so um, and I asked for a feedback which I, I appreciate all negative and positive feedback because Negative feedback is only just going to make me better and make me try harder. And a lot of you didn't didn't take well to that uh, that format of just doing like a video of all pictures. So that is probably going to be just a one shot deal. Probably won't do that again. Uh, if you want to check it out, uh, the preview, I'll put the video I'll put the video link uh, in the description. But anyway, let's get to the review. There's a lot to cover, so we got to dive right in. So there's the box. Now, as you can see. They copied the box pretty much very well. It looks pretty much like the real ZT box. Same thing as on the inside. When I took it out, the knife's already out. But when I took it out, it had the same the bubble wrap, the, uh, the instructions had the same as uh, as you would you know expect to see in a regular ZT box. So, but I just wanted to show you the box. And I've had the, the knife for a while. Let me bust it out. There it is. I've had the knife for uh, a while now. I've been cutting with it, uh, doing different things with it, you know, carrying for, you know, trying to make this be my primary carry. Though once in a while I do sneak another knife in there since I've had this one. Um, so let's talk about it. We'll measure it up. What I like, what I don't like. So some measurements just to get out of the way. Um, while, I, while I do put the, the standard uh, stuff in here, it is against the dollar. The uh, overall length is 195 millimeters, which translates to 7.83 inches, and the blade length is 82 millimeters, which is 3.23 inches. Well, let's get the ruler in there so you can see it against the ruler. There you go. The weight is 180 gra grams, which is uh, 6.35 ounces, but we're not going to uh, just go by that. We're actually going to measure that too. So let's turn that bad boy on. Well, my scale says 6.29, and the official thing is 6.35. Close enough, and my scale is pretty accurate. So the um, the handle material is supposed to be. Uh, now keep in mind, this is a clone, so any statistics you hear of materials, take it with a grain of salt. Well, is, it, is it that material? Is it not? We've discussed this over the other clones. Just take it with a grain of salt. Uh, the material is supposed to be a TC4 titanium, anodized, obviously, in certain areas. Um, and the blade is supposed to be a 204P stainless steel. Which, if you're up on your, if you're up on your steel, it's a high-grade steel. The uh, pivot is a a uh, single row ball bearing which I can say it does flip very nicely let's see, let's, let's put it up against a couple that I'm going to discuss along the, along the way, I have reasons to this knife I'm showing you next to it is the CH3504 this is not a clone CH is their own company, there it is against that I'm going to I'm going to discuss this later as well. And there's a reason why this next knife I'm going to bring in is uh, it's going to come into play when I discuss my dislikes and likes. This is the CRK CRKT Amicus. And there it is against that. So before we dive right in, uh, you know what, before we even really, really dive right in, let's cut with it. Now, I have, as I said, I have been cutting with it. And I'm a, I got to say off the bat, I'm a little disappointed. Um, it's when I initially took, got it out of the box, I was cutting the paper with it, and I've cut other things with it. But it's to me, it's as you can see, it pulls the paper. It's not as sharp as some of the clones that I've gotten out of box. It's not, it's not terrible, you know, but it does pull the paper somewhat. So I would say it's a B. It's not no A plus, like you know. Like some of the knives I've been busting out. Now, 
Now, one thing I'm going to mention a dislike right off the bat, and I brought that to your attention if you watched my preview. It came with a screw or fastener missing. So I contacted the seller. I've had a lot of dealings with that seller. I'm very surprised he sent um, that this knife like that. And right away he was all upset and he said, I'm going to send you. I thought, I didn't want it. I just wanted to bring it to his attention. I wasn't looking for anything per se. But right away he says he's going to send me a fastener. I thought he was, was going to get all worried and send me a knife. I, was, I kept telling him, don't worry about it. I'll live without the screw, you know. Which I really shouldn't have said, you know, you know, because you are. Uh, I didn't get to the price on this yet. Uh, I did spend sixty nine dollars, and I got it from DH Gate, and uh, he's going to send me a fastener, so that should be coming in the uh, in the mail. Now, I'm not going to get too into. I'm going to mention sometimes how it compares to the real one. But I'm not going to get too deep into it because the main reason is I don't own the real one. I never had the real one. I've only seen, I don't know, many videos on the real one. So I could say, uh, I could make maybe a couple of comparisons to it. But it's, this, isn't, this is just about how this knife performs. I'm not going to really get too deep into how it compares. But with that said, it does look a lot like the real thing. I mean... This almost could be a dead ringer, but I do notice some differences. Uh, you know, one of the bad is the, the color of the anodized uh, pivot pivot cover, pivot screw here. That's uh, it's just nicer on the real one. Now, I'm going to go over some some likes and dislikes. And with this knife, believe it or not, it was I was very pumped up to get this. I couldn't wait to get it. It took three weeks to get here. When you're waiting for some too, that seems like a long time, though. Three weeks is not too bad coming from China. My best is eight days. I don't think I'll ever see those days again. I remember I got a knife. I forget which knife it was. But one of my older videos, I remember mentioning I got it in eight days. Um, well, right off the bat, let's get rid of the elephant in the room. It is a clone, right? One thing I don't like about clones, you know, I might buy them, I might review them, I might use them, but I don't like it when a clone could be passed as a counterfeit knife, like as the actual real thing. And this is one of those cases. This knife, because of the markings, because of the box, could, and because of the quality, could conceivably be passed for the real thing. And that I do not like. Um, I'll take, I'll, you know, I'd rather have a clone that has, you know, cheap, cheap box, brown, average everyday brown box, um, you know, no ZT markings on anything. And this way, when the consumer is buying a knife, they know, oh, this is not the real thing, you know. Instead, this person who sold this for, well, I'm not saying this per se person, but a, a mischievous person could turn around, take this, you know, buy it for $69 and turn around and try to sell it, which the real one, I think, was it going for, like $240 and try to tur turn around and do that. That I do not like. So that's another, that's added to my uh, dislike list. Um... Let's get into what uh, other things I do not like and I do like. Let's see here. Here's my notes. Now, one thing that's a major, even though, even though it, it, it is a good flipper, this sounds kind of illogical. You're like, well, if it's good flipper, why are you complaining about it? The, the, the one thing I do complain about, I'm going to try to get in, is, is the part of the flipper. And I wanted to make sure it focuses in. The way it's designed... I guess because they're trying to copy the exact way that the ZT flipper is designed. This is ill-designed. It's not well-designed because it's just, I don't know, when you're putting your finger here, make sure it doesn't focus on the table, it's just weird. I mean, it takes, I don't know, it, it almost feels like that this part should be the other way around. Like the butt, this one, it should be flipped around and it's that way. It looks like that way would be a heck of a lot better. So I do not like the way this flipper is designed, and if anything, if they wanted to uh, make this knife the, a clone of the other, they should have improved upon that and changed this here and make this different, because this, let's see, it has jimping, but it doesn't have jimping really where you need it. You find yourself sticking your finger here and it slips there, and like today, it's almost 100 degrees, and I'm filming this at 8 o'clock at night, and my hands are wet, and you know, it's, it's hard to get your, 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 your finger in there. However, once the knife has been is in the you know, deployment mode, it's very, very smooth. I mean, you can feel the quality. The ball bearing just kicks in. It's, it's just there. The quality is definitely there. Let's dry it up a little bit. 
Now, because of that too, because of that, you have to dig into that flipper, the, uh, which you know this is a repeat thing with me, this classic clip. This clip is a, is a very big hot spot when you're trying to open this knife. Here it is in the hand. Feels, besides the, you know, the clip, it does feel nice in the hand when you're not opening it. But when you're digging in here, and you're pushing down here, you can see my fingers, they start digging in right there. Man, that thing hurts like hell when, you, when you're trying to open it. Like right now, you can see the indentation of my fingers. So I find myself, in order to, uh, to, to help with that, I find myself opening a knife like this where I let the gravity, re where it's resting on my hand, instead of like picking it up and going like this, where it's going down like that, and then you've got your fingers digging in there. I would try to do it like this, and and it hurts less by doing it that way. So this clip is this knife is just begging for another clip. So and I I'm dying to take it off. Well, first of all, I didn't take it off because of this review. I wanted to show it to you as is. But I like that the you know it's too bad because it looks nice. The blue is nice, but I'm definitely in the market for a. a, a Whatever I'm, I'm assume I'm going to make the assumption that any aftermarket clip that fits the real one is going to fit the clone as well. I'm going to definitely look for a clip for this. But the only bad thing about it is the knife cost me sixty nine dollars. The clip could I could conceivably spend forty five dollars on a clip. Do I want to do that? I doubt it. But if there's a low cost clip, I'm going to change that out where I don't have this problem where it's digging in my fingers. I'm definitely going to look into it. But it's just a shame. The nice anodized look to it. It has a nice look. So, those are pretty much my negatives. Now, the sharpness, I'm sure I did want to, to uh, put it on the, the sharp maker and uh, see if I can sharpen it up. I never got around to it, so I've just been using it as is. So, it's tough for me to say whether I highly, I can say I can highly recommend this. It, yes, it is beautiful. Yes, it is affordable. It does, if you're looking for that same look like the real thing, it does look a heck of a lot like the real thing. If not, you know, except some minor differences, almost a dead ringer. There's the, uh, the anodized backspacer. Now, the one thing, another negative is the weight. I don't, it's not that it's because of the, it's the um, 6.35 ounces. Now, that, this is where that other knife cam comes into play. Let me see, where is it again? Oh, the Amicus. When I first got this, well, in my video I mentioned it's heavy, but it, it, if it's a good feeling heavy. Now I don't recall the weight offhand, but the reason why this one felt, you know, you might say, well this is heavy and that's a good feel heavy, why would this be any different? This one just seems more proportionate. The weight is more distributed. So, you know, yeah, you might feel this in your pocket, but it has, you know, the weight's just more spread out more. It's not like one big lug in one spot. The, uh, the clone has that feeling you know it's all the weight is all right here yeah it's not it's not a, a deal killer but it just feels like you know like they could have maybe the design could have been a little bit different here's the uh, the lock by the way the lock up has been perfect and it's the centering is also perfect but I'll show you it's like 50 percent lock up beautiful centering been flipping the hell out of this knife the uh, no blade play whatsoever but this one is a tough one to recommend when you're spending sixty nine dollars for this that you do not know whether this is titanium you do not know if this is um, a 204p steel but meanwhile on the the CH3504 since it's not a clone you do know that this is titanium you do know that this is S35 VN steel, and I spent $77 on this on this knife. So I'm not going to really say, I'm not going to run out and say because of the negatives that's associated with this knife, you know, the things that I just mentioned, I'm not going to be able to say you can run out and buy this knife because there are other clones that you could buy that are in that range that are as good or better or confirmed material or even like I just showed you, real knives that are in that range that you could get. I do gotta admit, I you know I fell for the design when I first saw the real one, and I said, "Wow, I'm gonna probably save up and get the real one." And then when they made the clone, I got this, and you know, I do like it, but I, like I said, those are my negatives about it. I really, really wish going back to the first negative, they would stop this, the making it in the exact box and putting the the markings on it. That's you know, 
It's enough that they're copying the design. They shouldn't really have to copy all the logos and all the markings too. But there it is in the hand. I know I'm babbling on. This video is going way too long. So there you have it. This is what I'm going to leave up to you guys. I'd like to hear your thoughts on it. I'd like to hear thoughts from uh, those of you who have the real one or the clone. Or those of you who are looking to buy the clone, what do you think after seeing this? Do you think you're going to still pursue it? So there you have it. The ZT0456 uh, knife clone. $69 ship, three weeks to eastern part of the uh, United States. Thanks a lot for watching. Take care, everyone, and God bless. Thanks for watching my video and please remember to like, share and subscribe.